Hey guys. So today I'm going to be creating a new look using my Jaclyn Hill palette. As you can see, it's kind of dirty already. This packaging is adorable, but it got dirty so quick and I have a hard time cleaning it. It's the one bad thing about this. Except for I really like that it's not black anymore. I like the white. But anyway, I don't know how this look is going to go. I haven't planned it out. I just kind of want to wing it and see where it goes because there's a lot of really pretty colors in here that I want to use. But I'm just not sure how I want to use them. So we're just going to go ahead and get started and hope for the best. <laughs> so as usual, I'm going to prep with the Maybelline New York Concealer in Fair Claire. I'm just going to do a tiny bit just to counteract the redness up there because my eyes are always red, always. I'm going to use a beauty blender to blend it out. I'm just going to real quick set that with the Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder. I don't know why I have such a hard time saying that. Every single time I go to say it, I do. But I'm going to also use the Morphe E8 brush. Alright, so for my first transition color, I think I'm going to use that one. Actually, I'm going to mix both those. So I'm just going to apply this directly into the crease. And blend it all out. Alright, so for my next color, I'm going to go in with Dreamsicle. It's this real pretty orange right here. I'm going to keep this directly in the crease. Whoa. This is extremely orange. Alright, next I'm going to jump into... I think I'm going to take Pukey. I like that color. Alright, now I think I'm going to take this color right here. I don't really remember what the shades are. I'm going to take this middle color right here, this orangey brown. It's actually like red in person, but it looks orangey brown on camera. Oh yes, definitely red. Now I'm going to go in with this deep red color and I'm going to put it on my outer corner. Okay, now I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm going to use a flat concealer brush and I'm going to do a half cut crease. For me, since I have very hooded eyes, I have to take it just a little bit higher than my crease. So I'm just going to place it just above my crease so that you can see it when my eyes are open. And I'm going to use this color, oh, oh, I think I'm going to use this color right here, actually. It's pretty. It's like the prettiest shade. It's like a real, whoa, that looks crazy on camera. <laughs> Alright, moving on to the other side. Wherever my brush went, 
Oh, there. Wait, no? Yeah? Now I'm going to take the Boulevard Beauty B13 brush and I'm going to take, uh, I think I'm going to take this color right here and mix it with that one just a little bit. And I'm going to darken up the crease just a little bit. I actually really like that. Alright, now just to make it pop a little more in the crease, I'm going to take the Stilla Magnificent Metals Eye Glitter Shadow Liquid thing <laughs> and I'm going to take the color Rose Gold Retro and I'm going to define the crease just a little bit. And for this I'm going to use a Morphe M250-1 brush. It looks like tiny like that. It's a little detail brush. Hope this works. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Can you? I hope you can. It looks so pretty. Okay, so I've decided I'm not going to even chance messing this look up with eyeliner. So. <laughs> I'm just going to use some of the Morphe Slate Liner Pot. Alright, so I decided I'm going to use the Ruby May lashes. They look like this. They're very thin. I think they'll be very pretty. While I'm waiting for the lash glue to set, I'm going to put some mascara on and I use the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black as always. Gotta be so careful. Don't want to mess these eyes up.
Alright, now for the lower lash line. I'm gonna take Pukey on my M432 brush. On the same brush, I'm also going to take some of this dark red color and apply that to the outer, outer part of the eye. Really quick, I'm going to take the B10 and I'm going to kind of blend the lower lash line better together. Okay. Now I'm going to apply some mascara to the lower lash line. So I went ahead and did my brows off camera. Now I'm going to do my lips and I'm going to start with the NYX lip pencil in Peekaboo Neutral. Then I'm going to go over the top of it with some NARS lip gloss in Chelsea Girls. Now I'm going to spray my face one more time with the Prep and Set Setting Spray by Morphe and we will be done. Alright guys, that's it for this look. I absolutely love this pal- oh, oh, It's so much dirtier now. I don't even know how I'm going to clean it. So yeah, I really do love this palette and Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you like this look. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!